Hello, in this video, we're going to do an indefinite integral. We have the integral of the sine of 3x times the cosine of x with respect to x. Let's carefully work through this solution. So there is a formula that we're going to use in order to do this problem. The formula tells us that if you have the sine of a times the cosine b, this is equal to 1 half and I'll use a bracket, and it's sine of parentheses a minus b, and then plus sine, and then parentheses a plus b. And this formula is very useful specifically for problems like this. When you have a problem like this, this is the way to go. So let's go ahead and replace a with 3x and b with x, in this formula right here. I'm gonna write it in yellow. This is the sine of 3x times the cosine of x, and that's equal to 1 half bracket sine of, so a minus b, so 3x minus x, and plus sine a plus b, so that'll be 3x plus x. You can skip steps, I just want to show every single step so you see it. So you have sine of 3x minus x plus sine of 3x plus x. We have the one half on the outside. Then the sine of 3x times the cosine of x equal to one half. And I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the one half. So 3x minus x is 2x. So it's one half times the sine of 2x plus one half times the sine of, well, 3x plus x is just 4x. And then we have a parentheses. So now we can go ahead and integrate this instead, right? Because our integrand is actually equal to that. So jumping to that step, basically we're just gonna integrate this. We have one half times the integral of the sine of 2x, dx, plus, and then one half, times the integral of the sine of 4x dx. So to integrate these, you can make two different u substitutions. You could let u be 2x in the first integral, and then you can let u be 4x in the second integral. Or you can invoke a very powerful formula. If you have the integral of the sine of, say, b times x with respect to x, you're working backwards, right? So you're trying to integrate sine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So when you integrate sine, you're gonna get a negative cosine. This is actually negative cosine of bx, and you divide by b, assuming of course b is you know not zero. This formula is very powerful, okay? very, very powerful. And it, you can prove it just by letting u be bx and going from there. Let's apply it here. We're just going to have one half and a negative cosine of 2x all over 2. And then another negative here, 1 half cosine of 4x all over 4. Right? So basically, we're just dividing by the number and writing cosine with a negative in front of it, plus c. So very powerful way to do it. Lastly, we can just multiply here. So 2 times 2 is 4. So it's going to give us a negative 1 fourth. I'm going to come down here and write the final answer. So all of this is equal to negative one-fourth cosine of 2x minus one-eighth, because 2 times 4 is 8, cosine of 4x. And then we have capital C, which is our constant of integration. Went pretty quickly through that, but hopefully... Uh, it made some sense. So yeah, kind of an interesting problem and people get stuck on this because of the identities. So key point is whenever you have an integral like this where you have like sine of 3x times cosine of x, whenever the numbers are different, so like if it was sine 3x cosine 2x, same idea, right? Whenever these numbers are different, the 3 and the 2, in this case it was a 3 and a 1, you can use this formula here. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.